Minecraft 1.12.2 goes down as one of the most powerful versions in Minecraft modding for its wide selection of mods. In this video, we'll be focusing on the top 10 best Minecraft 1.12.2 mods in 2022 and beyond. This video will be unlike other 1.12.2 mods list videos as it will feature some more unknown or underrated mods rather than the most downloaded ones. So buckle up for something different, let's begin. Number 10, Treasure 2. Discovery and looting makes survival games so much more fun. That's why Treasure 2 aims to add the thrill of this by emplacing new rare treasure chests for discovery, secured by assorted locks that can only be unlocked via finding their corresponding keys. Chests come in various shapes and sizes, having different rarities which determine their spawn probability and their loot table's quality of offerings, having a varying number of locks and requirements for keys. From wooden chests to pirate chests, iron stronghold chests, skull chests, viking chests, or crystal skulls to name a few, you'll need to find the key and then shift and crouch to unlock a chest with it. The key ring item is your saving grace if you're carrying a ton of keys. This will save inventory space and act as a skeleton key of sorts by using all of the keys on this key ring to attempt to open a chest. If you get silver or gold coins from chests, you can throw them into a wishing well for some random loot. Some collectibles that are unique in this mod include the skull sword or the eye patch which are cool vanity items, but beware when looting. The wood wooden chest and the pirate chest mimics will look just like a chest, but they'll turn into an attacking monster. Number 9, Shield Break. Combat is fun, but with this mod it's even better. Shield Break adds a shield breaking and shield parrying system of mechanics to replace the boring old shield ones. It replaces the whole axes breaking shield mechanic with a new system which is based upon the shield's durability, its incoming damage and the weapon type of the attacker and parrying. Shields now protect from a certain damage value value which is based on their durability, but if an attacker evades this protection, it causes a shield cooldown. A well-timed parry can fully block an attack regardless of its damage, throwing back the attacker. Axes in the default game or weapons from mods such as halberds in spot and weaponry for an example, can cause a shield cooldown and the duration can be configured. Number 8, Locks. The concept is a little different here. These new locks have the ability to be dynamically attached to multi-block formations of any kind. The the coolest thing about this mod is the lock picking mechanic it adds to which is really unique. All chests can spawn with locks attached that can be picked or removed from them. Locks can be in place by selecting two corner points and then interacting with the visual interface. Keys can toggle locks and can be duplicated with a key blank or made for an existing locks by crafting the key blank with the lock itself. These key blanks are crafted themselves by two iron ingots. Using iron pieces you can also make a key ring to store nine keys and toggle any lock linked to any keys on its ring. Master keys can be used in creative mode to toggle any lock in-game easily. Using an ingot and lever to craft a lock pick, you can force a lock open without using a key. You'll have to push up the lock pins to pull them in the right order to force the lock. If you pull a wrong pin, the lock pick could break and cause all pins to force back down, thus restarting the process. Number 7, No Tree Punching. If you've played some of the harder mod packs, perhaps you're familiar with this mod. It aims to make things a little more realistic and believable by removing Minecraft's most famous mechanic, tree punching. In this mod, blocks don't just drop themselves if you don't have the right tool for the job. Leaves can be broken for sticks, gravel can be harvested without a tool for flint, flint can be used on a napping surface for shards to craft a flint knife, to then harvest plant fibres and string to create a flint axe to build a crafting table to create early game tools like pickaxes, hoes and shovels from flint. Number 6. Project Vibrant Journeys. This mod focuses on improving the vanilla biomes and adding some new ones to seek out. Within the world, you'll find added little details, from rocks to fallen leaves and twigs, bones and pine cones. You'll experience over 20 plus new biomes of different types and themes, see improvements to lakes that have seagrass and cattails beside them to spruce them up, view better beaches with scattered sea oats and seashells, and notice minor improvements to the world, like cobwebs spawning under trees trees, jungles being home to tropical sea life and fish, more river grass and bushes in the plains, and so much more. Not to mention the addition of various ambient mobs to add background life to the world. From fireflies to light up the night, to snails, frogs, clams and starfish to name just a few of them. Number 5 Scape and Run Parasites Perhaps one of the most underrated mods for 
12.2 of all time, Scape and Run Parasites is a dark survival horror mod that adds hostile parasitic creatures into the game that are scary, creepy and treacherous. Learning from their fights in order to evolve into something far deadlier, these creepy parasites can be found anywhere and they don't burn during the day. To get a real idea of why you should fear these guys, even zombies and skeletons are scared of them. With different carrier forms, vectors and flying forms, there's countless different parasite mobs that can merge and bind together to create bigger entities, infecting the world and spreading their blight to taint the land. Number 4 Advanced Hook Launchers The different hooks added via this mod offer different unique abilities, from climbing to abseiling, diving off of cliffs, pulling in entities or players, or being for slaying dragons. The mod has advanced and realistic physics properties, letting you use multiple different hooks simultaneously. You can configure the strength and fire resistance, the rope colour, length and elasticity, the durability and extension and reeling speed properties of the hooks. So. If you want to be Spider-Man or a man of many weapons, take some of these for a spin. Number 3, the One Probe. In a very similar way to how the What Am I Looking At mod functions, the One Probe lets you use a probe item in your hand or offhand to display on-screen information regarding what you're looking at in-game, including basic information about blocks themselves, the mod they belong to, the tool needed to harvest them, and additional information such as the RF energy number that's stored within, if the mod uses redstone flux power that is. When sneaking you can view a list of all containing items within a block's inventory if it functions similar in the way to chess do. Number 2, FTB Quests. Primarily for mod pack creators, FTB Quests is a very powerful questing mod, one that I would liken to the vanilla Minecraft advancement system that has some similar fundamentals to other mods like Better Questing, but with a unique interface and a whole lot of features. Supporting player teams with the FTB Teams mod, letting you work together to beat the achievement style quest together, FTB Quest lets you create a list of different quest categories based upon chapters in your mod pack or upon the different mods in the mod pack in order to create a stencil style outline of how your mod pack is going to play out and to give players a sense of progression and some kind of route of accomplishment. Number 1 Tinker's Construct Another highly popular request to feature in a top 10, this mod is built upon the idea of merging different tools together via an array of different means to turn them into something new or to modify them. Tinker's Construct uses many different materials to make new tools. Starting with a few tables, you can place patterns upon them to begin construction. A pattern chest and part builder sit side by side in unison to work off of each other, with a stencil table being used to create the actual patterns, using the part builder to craft the tool parts. The tool station block is used to build, modify and repair your crafted tool sets. Using gravel, sand and clay, you can build and use a smelter to process heavy metals for parts, being able to be automated via the use of redstone. And that's going to conclude this list for the top 10 Minecraft 1.12.2 mods of 2022 and beyond. If I missed your favourite mod for 1.12.2, do list it down below in the comments and also let me know what your favourite mod was from the list of the ones featured and why that is. If you found a mod that you liked or you just enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.